Hey everybody, this is Kennedy Hawk, continuing our Deck Halls 2020 series. This is our third deck we're playing, and it is Spider-Man Aggression. We talked about this one on the cast a little bit, and it really surprised me. So it, it's still my lowest played Spider-Man deck, and I think it's actually a really great one. So I'm surprised that it's so lowly played. I'm going to get rid of these early swinging web kicks in lieu of setup cards like these other ones and see what we can do. All right, so he gets a threat. We, oh no, he doesn't get a threat, sorry. He already has two. We get two encounter cards dealt to us. That's what I was trying to say. And let's play some stuff, right? So let's play a web tracer or whatever this thing is, web spinner, web shooter, I don't know. Let's flip a little bit here and pay one, two, four, one, two, three for a brawn. I think just one, two for a martial prowess, and we'll use that to play a counterattack. Just get a few things out there on the board. Spider Man's gonna hit this goblin for two. We're not quite gonna kill him this turn, but I'm still pretty happy with our setup for that round. All right, goblin gets that. He is going to attack us. We'll draw a card. We will take it. Um, I don't really care about backflipping two, so we're gonna let him have it. These two guys hit us for two. And we've got three encounter cards to deal with here. So first, you cannot attack Kang. Second, he attacks us yet again. Um, so this time he's going to try to hit us for four. So we will backflip that one. And he attacks us yet again. Oh my goodness. So this is a four damage attack. We're going to have to defend. Well, let's see what we draw first. Yeah, we're going to have to defend. So four. We take one. He gets a threat in the scheme. Wow. Three attacks in turn one is brutal. But we've got some board set up here, so let's see what we can do with this crazy hand we have. So let's pay one, two, three for a brawn. Brawn's gonna finish off this goblin thrall and remove one threat from the main scheme. Sounds like a brawny thing to do. We will pay one for another web tracer. Just getting some setup going here. And then we'll pay one, two, three for a Mockingbird, who's gonna stun that villain so they can stay in hero form one more turn. Um, and then we'll ping, ping this little guy right here. So, ready and everything up. We did not get our Quinn Carrier out round one, but we got lots of our resource generators. He's gonna get a threat, he is stunned. Little guy hits us for one, who cares? Um, we get one encounter card, and it is an advance. Oh, that's the worst thing that could have happened. So it's a two plus two. Either way, it's going to pop this scheme. Luckily, we already have a goblin in play, so we don't have to do any of this when completed stuff on unleashing the mutagen. But now we've got to really maintain how many goblins are out there on the board. That could really come, come to bite us. So let's see what we can do here. Um, let's use this to press the advantage and get rid of this goblin. Mockingbird can thwart, Brawn can attack and remove a thing. Spider-Man can also thwart. We're going to flip down, because um, we need to. <laughs> we're going to play Honorary Avenger on Brawn. I think he's more important right now. Um, and we're going to pitch, actually, a lot of this stuff, just looking for better cards here. All right. He gets a threat. He's going to scheme for two, three. We get one card here, and it is a Thrall Minion. Okay. It is our go. We are going to put a Spider Tracer on that Thrall Minion. We're going to play a Combat Training. We're going to play a Black Cat. Discard the top two cards of our deck. Just looking for Mentals. We get none. Bummer. Um, Peter's going to have to... Does he have to heal? Yeah, I think Peter needs to heal for three. We'll flip. These three will attack the Thrall. That'll get rid of the Thrall. We get to remove four threat, because Brawn. Mockingbird, sadly, has seen better days. She's gone. Let's make sure we know how much damage is here on Brawn. Just a few. All right, readying everything up. Let's see what we can do. He's going to get one threat. He is going to attack us. Um, so we draw a card, and we're going to ignore it because we have backflip. So he hits us for four, we backflip it. He gets one card here, and it's another goblin minion. It's like this minion thing just never ends. 
And now we have no toe-to-toes -to, -toes to deal with it, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but what we do have... I'd rather dropkick the, the boss here. So I think we're going to hit for five. Brawn will remove one threat. We will dropkick Green Goblin. 13 with a stun. Um, we will play Spider Girl, even though she's kind of a waste, just so she can thwart for one. We're going to flip down to Peter Parker, and we're going to hold on to this. Right, we're going to discard this web depth. We need better cards, and we kind of need them now. So let's, let's not play the slow game. We drew a replacement anyway, so... All right, he gets one threat. He is going to scheme because he's confused for 2-3. We've got two cards to deal with. First, we have Monster. You're stunned. Ouch. Not ideal. And we have a Surging card into a Double Surging card into bringing out a side scheme, which nobody likes. And there's one. My goodness. And that goes into a gang up, which surges into another side scheme. Excellent. It's a lot of threat that just appeared out of nowhere. Not a big fan. <laughs> um, let's see what we can do. Still no Aunt May, but we're not going to be able to heal ourselves this time. Can't use our, our resource for anything, unfortunately. So we're going to flip. We will put Honorary Avenger up here on Brawn, because that's really important, I think. I am going to pay one two, three, for a drop kick on monster after I clear my basic attack. Um, so that'll hit for four, stun, and draw us a card. At that point, we can press the advantage to do the final two and draw us a card. We need to get Aunt May out there. Um, so I'm probably going to, he is already stunned. Um, I'm probably going to use backflip to play Aunt May for future life purposes. All right, we can do some attacking here. Um, Bronze got lots of damage left. They'll both attack for two. That removes a threat from a scheme. Let's get it off this one. And actually, we'll only attack for one. I think both Black Hat and Spider Girl have to thwart this and get rid of that hazard symbol, unfortunately. All right, we are readying up. Spider Girl is dead. Black Hat now has one on her, drawing four cards. He gets a threat. He is stunned, thank goodness. And we get another Goblin Soldier. So, first things first, let's uh, Goblin Soldier will attack us for one, and then we'll die. Um, but let's put a Spider Tracer on him before we do that. That would be smart. <laughs> let's us remove three threat, um, and we take one from the when defeated. Cool, cool, cool. That's great. We need to start pushing a little bit of damage here. Um, so we're gonna swing for three. Black Cat's going to swing for one. Um, we're going to flip down and heal for four. And I think we'll keep these cards in hand for now. Runs up to six out of seven damage. That's hilarious. Round four. He gets a threat. He's going to scheme for two and put this guy to play. So basically three. And we get an encounter card, which is Goblin Knight. Awesome. Just what I always wanted in my life. Um, that's great. Let's pay three for Mockingbird to stun the villain. It may heal us to full. We will flip. We are going to pay one. Two. One. Oh, 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 oh. Get a one road chaser. Two, three. For a swinging web kick on this guy. Spider Tracer will let us remove three. Um, I'll just take out the Goblin Thrall. These two are going to go to face. Brawn is going to chill because we want to have as much damage on the board as we can when we flip this guy. So we're drawing five cards. He gets a threat. He is stunned. We get one card here, which is a hazard symbol. So we're going to have to get rid of that and get a minion, but that's probably okay. Minions aren't the end of the world for us right now. So we've got eight damage after flipping him. We can flip him with what's out here. Um, 
and a spider sense in hand, it might be the time to do a flip. I kind of like to get rid of that first. Um, so let's have broad attack and remove a threat here. Poor Brawn. Biting the dust at just the right time here. Let's... Rory Adventure Mockingbird, so she sticks around for longer. We'll press the advantage on the boss. Mockingbird and Spider-Man can get rid of this, which will search for a minion. We get a Thrall. Um, yeah, let's web kick that Thrall off the board. Black Cat can ping for one. We're down to needing only 22 damage in one turn, but we threw away all our good stuff, so that's going to be a problem here. He gets a threat. He is going to attack us, and we draw a card. Um, we will defend, so he attacks for four, unfortunately, so we do take one, and he gets to place a threat. Um, we get one encounter card, which is just more attack buffs for him. Oh, he actually attacks for five, sorry, because of this buff. And... We want to reflect that two back at him. That would flip him right now. We kind of don't want to do that. Um, I kind of have a plan here for that. And let's just try it this turn. If this doesn't work out, you guys can laugh at me later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play toe-to-toe -to -toe on his turn. Hold on. Hold the phone. We want to flip him first. So let's attack for two. Flip him to... A new beautiful form. So he gets three cards here, just what we always wanted. He goes up to 20, which is kind of bonkers. And now we do our thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's going to attack us for five plus something. And I'm just going to take it. It ends up being just five. And I draw a card because he attacked me. Um, I'm going to reflect that five back with counterattack. So he actually takes 10. 5 from toe-to-toe, -to -toe, 5 from counterattack. Really cool, right? Um, so now we can martial prowess and swinging web kick to hit for 8. We've got just enough resources left um, to drop kick for 4. Bingo bango, Green Goblin is dead. So we avoided these three cards plus a boost and a fourth card that probably would have been pretty bad for us um we accidentally got out of that first scheme a little too quick so this is the deck i think it revolves around two sort of branches the original idea was let's try to get to eight cards in hand because that'll be cool because spiders have eight legs right um that ended up not being what came out of the deck what came out of the deck is there's a ton of ways to stun and there's a ton of ways to take advantage of that stun just trying to pull all the cards out here that i need to talk about and I think that's it. So yeah, we can stun via drop kick or via webbed up. These batteries here work really great, or web shooters work really great with dropped kick. So does martial prowess. You can get a free web kick, um, either web kick or drop kick out, which is awesome. Once the villain's stunned, you can do really cool things. Like you can play toe to toe. The villain tries to attack you, um, even though the attack isn't su successful, you still get to deal that five damage. So what's really cool is if you play webbed up on the villain one turn. You're in Ultra Ego form after that because you flip down. The next turn, you say, oh, toe-to-toe -to -toe this guy. So he gets rid of his webbed up and puts stunned out. Then you can play press the advantage because he's stunned and draw a bunch of cards. So it's a little cool combo in there. I also like the combo that we used there right at the end, um, using toe-to-toe -to -toe at a full health Spider-Man into a counterattack. So you can, I mean, you could imagine if he had done eight damage to us there, we would have reflected eight at him. Still, well, I guess we would have died. So if he had done seven to us there, <laughs> we would have reflected seven at him and done the five. So that would have been 12 damage from just two cost and cards, which is crazy. Um, would have loved it, but uh, we got the five instead, which I think was still a pretty good, pretty good deal for us. So this is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We've got two more core set heroes to go through in this Deck Tall's adventure before we get back to expansion heroes and see what aspects I played with those guys the least. Thanks for tuning in.